Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away, thanks to a little diversion I came up with to keep the sans-culottes away. Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. So that young French diplomat was you? The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart.
Honey, the remedy of the gods. Sir, may I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But, sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. That handkerchief belongs to me. Please, hand it over now. But, sir, I... I'll speak directly to your master about it. It will be a very long conversation. Uh, of course, sir. Please, take it. On that note, I must leave you, sir. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite... touched for a good long time. Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. It's 
too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. Hmm. A letter written in an Oriental language. This letter's in Japanese. It's, it's addressed to a certain K. Shutaro in Tokyo. The addressee's in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me. It's about time the order sent some envoys there. Probably a Dutchman. Hôtel de Cluny, Rue de Maturin, Paris. I guarantee this letter is for my mother. The address is a hideout for the Golden Order. If you write anyone over there, you have to watch out in case someone's reading your mail. But who is this Samuel Ritter Dauchois? Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Ah, it's coming back to me. Godoy is the head of the Spanish government. He was appointed by King Charles IV, if I'm not mistaken. Rumor has it. He's very close to the queen. Too close. Much too close. But hey, that's none of my business. He has a reputation of being upright and proud, very attached to the aristocracy, and close to Louis XVI. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Chinese coin. The lantern, nothing special. See what's hidden inside. The sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems Must to have be used an incredible it. view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from three hundred meters away. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. A wooden floorboard. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Latin 
inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> Only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable, but... As we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Mother passed her passion for art to me. Ancient art. Very ancient. Ah. I didn't know your mother was an art lover. Mainly pre-Christian objects, which are believed to have unique properties. Well, how interesting. Now that you mention it, I can indeed imagine Sarah getting interested in that. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Derishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. 
If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Your Eminence, if there is one thing you can count on, it is the value of a promise made by a Dorishi. Respecting our commitments has always been the pillar of our family, and nothing nor nobody will prevent that from happening. Since you know my mother, you should know that a Dorishi always keeps their word. You can be sure of that. Thank you, my son. It is most reassuring. You're welcome, especially as I promised you nothing, my friend. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Ricci. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her, that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Oh, okay. Few people know about the letter. 